They say beauty is in the eye of the beholder, but where one man saw a family pet, state officials saw a tragedy waiting to happen. This is the story of Albert the Alligator. Imagine waking up to this beast. He even has a name, Albert. Now the Department of Environmental Conservation in New York has seized the gator. I was devastated. Tony Cavallaro can't believe he has lost his best friend. As soon as they told me they're gonna take Albert, I was like, I was blown away. I didn't know what to say. It took 10 dudes to carry the gator from the home in Hamburg, outside Buffalo, to a waiting van. Cavallaro says he bought Albert at a reptile show in Ohio in 1990 when he was just a cute little hatchling. Now, 34 years later, Albert has grown some. He's 11 feet long and weighs 750 pounds. Cavallaro even built a $150,000 addition to his home where Albert had his own swimming pool. Are you hungry? Albert enjoys raw chicken and playfully chomps down on one of his ancestors, a stuffed dinosaur. He even gets his teeth brushed daily. What a good boy. Before Albert was taken away, public contact with him was prohibited. But Cavallaro doesn't deny that people have been in the pool to take pictures. They were standing in the shallow end. Elbert's down in the bottom, and she took a picture of him, and they, yeah, they didn't go swimming with him. Elbert's a gentle giant. He can't, You couldn't make him bite you. For now, Albert is with a licensed caretaker. But Tony Cavallaro says he's hoping he'll be reunited with his best buddy.